The Admiral James S. Gracie Award for Professional Excellence is awarded for individual performance. This year's award goes to Chief Bosun's mate Lee Johansson, a consummate professional and stellar role model who exemplifies the Coast Guard core values in every aspect. His unsurpassed performance, unwavering reliability, devotion to duty, and dedicated professionalism have had a tremendous positive impact on the mission and personnel assigned to Group Air Station North Bend and Station Umpqua River in this past year. I lost my uh, previous executive petty officer to a critical field job up in uh, Alaska. I was going to be left without an XPO for about a year until they could fill it on the normal cycle. Yes. Chief Johansson volunteered to um, come up and, and assume my executive petty officer duties while still retaining his RFO duties for the group um, air station down there in North Bend. Um, so he was actually taking on extra roles upon himself like he does every single day. Chief Johansson has also tirelessly dedicated and provided hundreds more off-duty hours volunteering with local youth programs. He also devoted much of his time to working in his community with the Special Olympics. I have to tell you, when I would go to practices and watch the Coast Guard members coaching our Special Olympics athletes, first of all, they did a tremendous job. It, it took them no time at all to, to just be a part of it all. They were great leaders immediately and very competent and qualified in their coaching skills. Chief Johansson also served with distinction as a liaison to the station Umpqua River Lighthouse and Museum. Oh, Lee's been wonderful. Uh, whenever I need any help or major things like removal of the 36-footer and getting this one put back up here, his crew and everyone came together and did it completely and no problems exactly all in one day. When I can't get anybody else to do anything, Lee will come through. I think it's really important for our junior members to, to find a niche out in the community, to get them away from work a little bit so they have some semblance of uh, home life. You know, if they can get involved with the, um, the church, youth group, something that's going to give them a, a, a touch of home when they're, when they're away from home. I think that's very important. So that's the, the key to leadership. You treat people how you want to be treated treat them with respect and you're gonna you'll get that in, in return and I think that's uh, you know just the golden rule is, is a key so